trilingual. How our daughter became trilingual by four. Hablas español, danés, suizo, alemán ya un poquito, francés un poquito. Una palabra, ¿sabes? ¿No es cierto? Bonjour. Bonjour. ¿Qué idioma te gusta hablar más? Uh, más español y... Y danés. Ah, esos son tus preferidos. Hasta tú creo que tenía que ser mi sabor. Ok, ya lira. Y puedes cantar una canción en suizo. O wenn er auf der Strecke wird, das noch kein Muff und blieb ganz still. Nur hier und da eine Maru macht schneller Nuf und wieder zu. Macht schneller Nuf und zu. Muy bien. Ah, inglés. ¿Puedo yo en inglés? ¿Puedes inglés? Mm. Puedes un par, una canción, creo, cuando alguien tiene cumpleaños. Let it go, ah, sí. let it go, can't hold that anymore, Eso. let it go, let it go, jump up there, snow one drum, thank you, Jason. Es que es aprender, ¿no es cierto? Sí, eso es inglés. How is it possible that our four-year-old daughter learned to speak and understand three languages and a dialect simultaneously? Hi there, Andrea here, teacher specialized in languages. Welcome to Multilingual Family, a vlog for cosmopolitan people like you. On this channel I share with you tips and tricks and useful material to raise multilingual children successfully. So if you're new here, subscribe to this channel and join my mailing list for free games and other tools. About a year ago I shot a video explaining the measures we take to raise our trilingual children. If you haven't watched that video, please do so, because this is a continuation of the other one. In a nutshell, these are the things that we have been doing in the past few years. We use the OPPO method, one person, one language, consistently. We visit our countries of birth at least once a year and our families visit us as well. We talk and sing a lot. We read to our kids every day. Our kids go twice a week to a daycare where they are immersed in the majority language. We make sure that our kids have close contact to other children that speak the majority language. We use music, books, videos and audiobooks to support each language. We visit the library also regularly. In addition to that, I practice with my daughter Swiss German and High German using the OSOL method. Please watch this video to see how. So you know we decided to adjust our strategy from July onwards. Our kids won't be going to a Swiss daycare anymore. Instead, we borrowed a grandmother. Yeah, you heard me right. We borrowed a grandmother. There is such a thing. It's called Lai Oma. And a Lai Oma is essentially a nanny that is over 65. She will be taking care of our kids and looking after them while we work. The idea of this is that she takes over the German. Um, she will be, will be using the OPPO method, the same as my husband and I do with the different languages. That'll be very interesting to see how it works out. I'll keep you posted. A child is not a thing. It is a complex being that has different needs, strengths, but also weaknesses. The truth is that the first few years are crucial to a healthy overall development. So besides carefully building up our children's languages, my husband and I also pay a lot of attention to other areas in the lives of our kids, like eating healthy and nutritious food, spending lots of quality time together, having 
a community where they can grow up with other kids, doing sports and spending many hours out in nature, giving them lots of love and a secure home, but also putting boundaries and setting clear rules. Because in the end, a child is like a seed. It needs the right amount of water, heat, sunlight and nutrients to be able to grow and become a beautiful strong tree someday. I think making sure that their basic needs are covered is the job of the parents. But on the other hand, pulling on the plant won't make it grow faster or better. So finding the right balance between supporting and letting go is key in raising successful multilingual children. All of these efforts are paying off really well. I'm impressed how my daughter's language skills are developing. To be honest, our goal in the beginning was to get her speaking Spanish and Danish and maybe a bit of Swiss German uh, before preschool, but her interest in languages and her ability to express herself in several languages has taken off like a rocket. It is going so well that she is asking me when she is going to learn French and English. I tell her that she has to be a bit patient and once she is in second grade she will learn English and once she is in fifth grade she'll learn French. Uh, that will happen inevitably because that is how the school system is in Switzerland and um, and we happen to live here so what do you think let me know in the comment section and I will reply as soon as I can thank you so much for watching this video called trilingual how our daughter became trilingual by four please hit the like button if you could take value out of this video subscribe and join my mailing list for free printables this was multilingual family keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon